up your bag this side. Hey, sir, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Welcome. Thank you. We made it. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Especially choose this, chose this one for you. <laughs> Turn that. <laughs> Don't know about that. <laughs> That one on the right will be yours. This one? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Try not to ruin the sheets. No promises. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to drive up to the reception. I use red dots too at home. Yeah. Well, this goes to another dot. Yeah. yeah, so now it's. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I got him in the neck. No, you. All right, Vince. So it's your your first day back <laughs> of your first first trip of this year. Started early, and uh, it's your not your first day, but your first morning. And we went after these this beast of a roan you have here in front of you. Uh, made a nice nice stalk through this little rocky hills through here, and uh, we saw them a couple of times, and then kind of snuck on and the wind was kind of perfect and quite strong today. Uh, take us through through your shot. So he was. Uh, we got up there. I know we uh, bumped him once already. I saw this one stand to the left by himself, and he was quartering away from us. So tried to put it. It was kind of a sharp angle. I tried to put it right behind his shoulder, and it looks like I did hit him on the shoulder. But as as the uh, angle of the bullet was going, I think maybe. I didn't get a great shot on the vitals. I might have just nicked the lungs or something. He ran off. He was staying, standing still. Tried to get him in the in the uh, spine. Uh, missed the spine by a little bit, but I think we wounded him enough to where he went into the uh, tree line over there. And the rest of the shots were all on the shoulder. Just a tough, resilient animal. Um, it's hard to believe how big they are. I never imagined them to be this big. And no. like you said, they're the second largest antelope in Africa. Truly wonderful and tough animal. And I was very, very happy to hear that it was a mature bull, probably 12 years old, yeah. we reckon, worn down teeth and everything. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful animal. I'm very fortunate. No, you did a great job with the shooting. These are strong, tough animals. All the an African animals are actually yeah. strong and tough, but <laughs> yeah. this this one seems to be a little bit bulletproof because all your shots were vital shots. Yeah, uh, very good shots. So, congratulations! Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is really a special animal for me. I've always wanted to get around, and I just haven't seen that many of them in the wild. And I'm probably the most beautiful antelope in Africa. Yeah, I would say uh, it's definitely top. Yeah. Very special animal. Thank you, Rowan. just can't believe how big these rooms really are you know you see pictures of them but to be right up to it just a big and resilient animal on this is an amazing amazing uh, harvest and I'm just glad that he was a mature bull <laughs> that 
one. Head and shoulder and back skin. Back skin. The bullet should have gone there. Yeah. And you just... So it hit, hit a lung, I believe. Mm -hmm. All right, Vince. Number two. Number two for the day, actually. <laughs> this is a very special animal to me, the golden little beast. I've always wanted one. Um, I've had the opportunity before, but they just weren't mature males. Yeah. And today we were able to harvest a mature male. As you can tell with the worn bosses and mm. just the worn teeth and the big body structure, this is truly a mature bull and has a lot of good character to him. Yeah. Very fortunate to had the opportunity to take this animal. Oh, very beautiful, very beautiful one. Like you said, a lot of good character on the on the horns and yeah. uh, special, special animal. And uh, again, special trip for you as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, thank you. Yeah, pleasure. <laughs>
right, Vince. So, <laughs> back in the Eastern Cape. Beautiful backdrop, beautiful country. A little bit chilly, cold, wet, rainy. <laughs> and this morning was actually hot. Yeah. Um, it's kind of it's like a, almost like we're in Scotland. <laughs> yeah, this is like a little Scotland, probably a little gym. All right, so we're day two, I believe, in the Eastern Cape, and uh, you can't couldn't ask for anything better than than what we have right here. This backdrop, this scenery, this country, this it's uh, beautiful, yeah. like you call it, little Scotland. Yeah, and uh, it's it's really just just amazing. And uh, amazing little little Kalahari uh, springbok here that you got. I'm absolutely amazed. I've uh, I've got two common springboks before, but this one just a big body and the unique shape of the horns. They almost form a heart. Yeah. I'm being festive a little bit there for <laughs> Valentine's. Up, upcoming Valentine's Day. <laughs> but, uh, no, very beautiful, beautiful ram. Um, I'm very excited about this one and we got them in one shot probably about what 200 meters roughly yeah 200 meters roughly yeah. and it was it's a little chilly it's a little wet we got a little bit of rain but definitely a rewarding rewarding harvest at the end of the day and no, no definitely and it was a perfect position where we got into on yeah. this little ridge here at the back and they were kind of grazing through this grassland and yeah you you made a good shot and a phenomenal, beautiful, beautiful animal. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
first shot was perfect in the center of the shoulder. Was it? Got him on the shoulder yeah. too, the second one as well. Yeah, I think so too because I've aimed it a little forward. Yeah, here's it. <laughs> Go get him and I'll wait here. I'll meet you at Nipple Nipple Head. Yeah, I'll meet you. Great shooting. Uh, Thank you, sir. Great shooting, my friend. Yeah. Awesome, awesome setup. Yeah. Nice mature buck. Your yeah, first shot was perfect. Well, Vince, when you're on top of the world, <laughs> that's how it feels. <laughs> yeah, about 7,000 7, feet above, it feels like. Uh, and we have something beautiful here in front of you a beast of a, <laughs> a water buck, just amazing. And we work worked quite hard for him here up in the mountains and uh, yeah take us through first of all I just want to say what a truly remarkable animal this is they have evaded me on several hunting trips in the past I know you can give testimony yeah. to that from a previous <laughs> one they're very elusive and today I mean we climbed and tracked and stalked and we even bumped him and he was running and he just stopped gave us a brief you know couple seconds and I was able to get a really good shot off that hit him in the shoulder and he ran a little bit and I just put one in him to make sure he wasn't going too much further and there he went down but yeah just keen senses you yeah know, yeah wonderful animal very beautiful looks to be a very mature buck um, bull. bull sorry <laughs> yeah mature bull but yeah I'm very uh, I'm just I'm elated right now yeah no no it's you did a great shot, so congratulations. Thank and you. if you look at this backdrop here. Oh yeah, amazing. And uh, this Stunning. Whole, whole country, the yeah. camera will show it later, but we're quite high up and far from the car. So yeah, we got to pack them out. Pack so them that's out. gonna, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a while, but. He might have the last laugh. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, but well done, good shot. Thank you. Looks like we timed the, the hunt right. <laughs> Thank you.
Drop of about three inches on yeah. this distance. So if you aimed there it, and it dropped three, it would have been actually in the middle. In the wind. Lekker. Shed this. <laughs> huh? I found you the spot that what they still stay yeah. up here, to be honest. <laughs> well, Vince, you <laughs> better to expect a, a fallow deer here in South Africa, and such a big one. Um, but yeah, we're kind of here on the, on the rocky hillside <laughs> you know, get made a good store crawling a little bit and luckily Armand he put us right in the right position and guided us very well um, but yeah take us through your <laughs> your experience well, what you see here absolutely stunning animal uh, we got a nice mature uh, buck um, still some velvet yeah on the antlers which is good um, the stalk was amazing. It was very difficult. We had to climb. We had to low crawl. And actually, when we got up there, had it not been for the white fallow deer eating on the bush, I would have never saw this one. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just, they blend in so well. They camouflage well. I know they're not endemic to this area, but it, it seems like they're, they, they've adapted. They've adapted over well. Over 200 years. Over so. 200 years, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful animal. I'm, I'm very excited. I'm very fortunate, yeah. And as always, it's good to take a nice mature exactly. male like that. And we got some good steaks coming. Yeah, up. we do. I'm looking <laughs> forward to that. <laughs> Congratulations, good Thank shooting. you. I appreciate it. No
over it. And I've got a foot over it. Right, Vince, we you <laughs> yeah again with your your second Kalahari Springbok here for this trip, and he's a beast in more than one way. Oh, I know. <laughs> he gave us a run for our money. He's big. He's a machine. It was so incredibly tough, but uh, we got him, and uh, he's a really really nice one. Amazing, amazing ram. Old, mature. You look at those hooks. It's just awesome. And uh, yeah, it took took a, few, a little bit of time to get him, but we got him. So take us through your stuff. So we saw him. Um, the initial shot was about 270 yards, roughly, and I uh, I aimed a little higher, uh, and I hit him on the shoulder, but just a little low. If it would have been maybe an inch higher, I think he would have eventually expired there, but broke his leg and. Then we start. Then the fun began. Then we started to track him, and he was so far off, and we were just taking long-range shots. And we got close to him over here. Um, I think that's where I shot him in the neck. And then he was pretty much on his way out, and he ran out into the open. And we put him down there. Uh, I put him down there with a couple shots, just to put him out of his misery. But. It's it's a shame he had to, but he was a warrior. He he battled through it, and it's just a testament to how tough the animals oh, are here in Africa. I mean, yeah, for this yeah. animal to take that amount of abuse, obviously you feel bad, but it you know this wasn't an easy hunt, and he didn't just give up. So yeah, yeah, beautiful, beautiful animal. Oh, well, well, congratulations. Yeah. Good shot. Thank you. Appreciate it. No worries.
Well, Vince, we hear in the thunder and rain <laughs> and all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, we we shot this guy actually on a on a nicer. Not nicer, but different property, a little bit less less grass, more like a deserty type, but the rain caught us quite bad and we were just in time to get this guy, so we had to move a little bit to a different area where the rain had stopped and uh, yeah, you got this beautiful black springbok, all old male, see he's broomed down, yeah. nice little thick horns, it's actually grey in, in uh, on the side here and stuff very beautiful one and uh you made a great shot and uh, uh took a took one shot behind the shoulder very nice went up to it took a few pictures and then the rain caught us <laughs> uh, but yeah we had a had a very nice stalk on him uh we were a little bit lucky <laughs> very lucky yeah actually. <laughs> 10 minutes later we would have not got him, it would have been pouring. Oh yeah, not good. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Wouldn't have been <laughs> you can see the spring is wet as well. Yeah. Uh, he he's, he took a bath and everything <laughs> like that. But no, no. Uh, take us through what you experienced there. So um we had a pretty exhausting but awarding rewarding stock up to the spring buck. We had B low. He was out in the open and yeah. we just had to go slow, go low and everything like that. So it took us a little bit to get up to him to get a decent shot. Um, was able to get a good one in on him. Um, I've hunted many spring buck in the past, um, but just Kalahari and common spring buck. This is my first Keller face spring buck. Absolutely stunning. Just beautiful. Um, I'm really excited that he's an older male. Um, and just a great harvest, a great, a great reward at the end of the day. And this is my last animal on this hunt. And I can't think of a better one to have than this. Just beautiful, beautiful color phase spring. Yeah. yeah. No, and I think this safari, this, this was an incredible hunt of all the trophies you've harvested and, uh, all the beautiful, beautiful animals you've got. And to end that safari with such a beautiful animals, is quite a nice thing. And, Good shot and all that. Thank you. Thank you. Vince, nice rainy day, Eastern Cape coming to an end. So a little bit of a drive back to Johannesburg, but we're going in a day earlier, get settled in. And then you have a longer flight back. <laughs> uh, but it's been a fantastic trip here. Eastern Cape. 
sad to be leaving such a beautiful place, good hunt, but all good things must come to an end. But, uh, I had a great time. Um, it is sad that we're leaving, that these memories will last forever. So um, this was a very special trip for me. And unfortunately, we do have to leave. But like I said, I'll have memories forever. So I will be back. I'll be back. <laughs>